Okay, welcome back to another video featuring theme one, microeconomics. In a previous video, we looked at some of the factors that might cause an outward shift of a country's PPF. This question uh, flips it around a little bit. So using real world examples, examine the possible causes of an inward shift of a nation's PPF. Again, what we're trying to do here is make our point, build application, build analysis, and then try to evaluate the point we've made. That's the way to write really good economics essays. Now, for most countries, the PPF does shift outwards uh, from year to year as the productive potential of a country increases. But for some countries, for some nations, there are some substantial risks to growth. And one of the consequences, one of the possible causes of the PPF shifting inwards is depopulation, which can lead to a shrinking in the active labour force. Depopulation, negative population growth, can occur naturally when, there, for example, there's a big fall in the birth rate. And it's seen most often in countries with, with a high median age. A very good example at the moment is Japan, which has both a very low birth rate and also a low rate of net inward migration. So it's not really helping to compensate. Quite a few of those Eastern European countries, including some inside the European Union, are actually seeing their population shrink. Population is declining. Good examples to quote in an essay would be countries such as Bulgaria, Romania, they're both inside the EU, and Ukraine, which is outside the EU. Another cause of depopulation is the brain drain effect. You may have come across this brain drain concept. This is where typically younger workers, often highly skilled, they leave a country that's experiencing very high unemployment to try and find work, better paid jobs elsewhere. So we've seen depopulation, for example, in Greece. And often they're responding to a dire economic, social, humanitarian crisis. We're seeing that happen at the moment, I'm sure, they're following the news in Venezuela. And we call a brain drain human capital flight. So my point here, the point I'm developing in my essay, is that depopulation can be a cause of an inward shift of the PPF. Uh, before we look at the evaluation, a little chart from uh, Google data. If you go to Google Public Data and the World Bank has lots of great data on population and demography, other economic indicators. Take a look at the top, Sub-Saharan Africa continues to have a population growth rate in excess of 2.5% per year. The world's growth of population has slowed down since the mid-60s from over 2% to now just over 1% per year, 1.5%. But as you can see, there are two regions in the world, East Asia and Pacific, which includes Japan, and Europe and Central Asia, which includes the countries we mentioned, Bulgaria and Romania, where population growth has slowed dramatically. Indeed, in Europe and Central Asia, it's less than 0.5%. The evaluation point then come. So the extent to which the depopulation impacts on the PPF depends on the scale of the population decline. By the way, depends on is a great evaluation phrase to use. The extent to which depopulation causes the PPF to shift inwards depends on the scale of the decline in population. Uh, you can put some data in, but maybe there's data response questions. So Latvia, for example, the population shrinking by more than 1% per year, which is significant particularly if you take a decade or more, if that happens. It also depends on the quality of the people who leave. So if you, Kenya or Ethiopia, suffer a brain drain of skilled surgeons, engineers, teachers from those countries, um, that's clearly going to be a major problem for their, for their future growth. However, if countries are suffering a brain drain, perhaps that might stimulate labour-saving capital investment in new technologies, which could, in, in, in part, help to offset the loss of labour. Do you see what we're trying to do here? We're making our point. Depopulation is my main, my main point. I'm trying to analyse and, uh, and and apply the concept, but throw in some evaluation points as well. My second point is this one. A second cause of an inward shift of the PPF. So, but when you are starting this paragraph, I'm going back to the question. Make it really easy for the market. A second cause of an inward shift of the PPF can be a decline, a fall in both the stock 
and the quality of a nation's natural resources, otherwise known as natural capital. And of course, we now know that many, many people, not just economists, are deeply worried by the rate at which we're extracting natural resources and the extent to which this is imperiling and threatening sustainable living standards. Resource depletion is a really important concept. That's where a resource is consumed faster than it can be replenished. And many of you may have heard of Kate Raworth, whose new book, Donut Economics, is a, is a, is a pretty powerful and pretty uh, convincing attempt to, to address and attack the old industrial model of extract the resource, make the product, use it, dispose it. This leads to a huge amount of depleted natural resources and a lot of dumping of waste in sinks. Pa plastic resources, of course, absolutely to the forefront at the moment. And we see natural capital depletion in lots of countries, deforestation in Brazil, a loss of fish stocks due to industrial fishing in the east coast of, of Africa. Using up natural resources contributes to short-term growth. Yes, short-term short growth increases because we're, we're pumping more oil out of the ground or we are you know, chopping down more forests to, to, to uh, supply the timber industry. But it damages long-term productive potential, particularly particularly if a country isn't able to use the wealth that lies beneath the ground, the natural resources, and turn it into human capital investment. You know, turning the rents from copper and uh, mining and, uh, and from oil and gas, and investing in education and health and infrastructure, which increases human capital. So my point is that the PPF can shift in because of natural resource depletion, uh, there's lots of good examples of this, of course, uh, deforestation in countries like Brazil, Indonesia and Malaysia. Even though deforestation was down by 16% in the year of July 7, 2017, that was still a significant area of forest destroyed. So-called slash and burn deforestation, in fact, across the world, was responsible for the destruction of an area the size of Italy in 2017. It's absolutely staggering, staggering loss of uh, forestry. Then you evaluate the point. So declining soil fertility, collapsing biodiversity, the effect of overfishing are some of the biggest issues of our time. That said, now this is a little evaluation phrase. That said, there is an argument that resource scarcity, when these resources become more scarce, will act as an incentive for scientists and entrepreneurs to innovate, to find Technologies that will promote clean energy and more sustainable farming. Governments can intervene in markets, carbon tax, for example, perhaps, to, to help mitigate some of the risks of, the, of catastrophic climate change. The aim of policies is to try and promote renewable resources, renewable energy, fuel efficiency, better use of farm and land resources, protected marine areas, so we can, we can achieve a more sustainable development which can benefit everybody across generations. And so the evaluation is about building, building counterpoints or challenging ideas and just questioning the essence of the point you've made. Innovation can promote environmental sustainability. Here is a good example from Manchester University in September of 2018, the new Fuel Cell Innovation Centre. Uh, fuel cells tend to have higher efficiency than, uh, for example, a diesel or a gas engine. They're quieter and uh, they produce less waste. And crucially, fuel cell technology uh, can be used to store energy much more efficiently. It's clearly going to be a, a boost to the renewable energy sector. So much we can do there to promote sustainability and prevent the decline of natural capital, causing an inward shift of a country's PPF.